the sky of late. A great chance of reaching the Coca-Cola Cup final, a manager of the month award, 10 wins in 12 games, there's been a lot to crow about. But that didn't stop First Division South End from thinking they'd taken a shock lead after five minutes. Leading scorer Stan Collymore and partner Brett Angel both had a hand in getting the ball in the net, only for an offside decision to spoil the moment for 5,000 travelling fans. Most of the positive moments after that belonged to Sheffield Wednesday. Two minutes before half-time, yet again it was their defender turned striker because of injuries, Paul Warhurst, who scored his sixth goal in five games. First Division South End will rue the chance they missed early in the second half because minutes later, Warhurst was running through to round goalkeeper Paul Sanson and put Wednesday two up. He claims to be not particularly impressed with his emergency goal-scoring responsibilities, but Wednesday's injured duo of David Hurst and Mark Bright must be getting slightly nervous about his goal-scoring abilities. It's 11 wins and two draws in their last 13 games now for Sheffield Wednesday. Their passage into the quarter-finals of the FA Cup was comfortable. Trevor Francis has given his squad three days off. Goals seem easy to come by, especially for Paul Warhurst. I'm enjoying it at the moment, um, you know, after the Blackburn game as well. i um, got a couple of goals and again today, you know, we've uh, had a great result. Lads have played really well um, and we're on a high at the moment. The crowd were chanting Warhurst for England and uh, I don't know if that was a bit sarcastic, but really, the way he's playing, he's in exceptionally good form and uh, I wouldn't like to play against him. You know, with his pace and uh, if he gets a chance, he'll put it in. That's seven now in five games and uh, he doesn't like playing there, but he certainly likes the headlines the following day.